Welcome back. Entertainment, education, and enrichment for all. That is the motto of the River Performing and Visual Arts Center. Since its founding in 1996, the program has served more than 35,000 students with disabilities and their siblings. KPRC's Tanai Wright has more on this program in our Sunday conversation. The River provides an accessible, affordable arts education for individuals with disabilities. Um, ages four to adult and their sibling. So we provide art, dance, acting, and music classes on site at the Metropolitan Multi-Service Center. And this was founded by a woman in 1996. So when did you guys, Theater Under the Stars, become involved with it? Yes, Kathy Binsack founded the River in 1996 because her youngest daughter, when she was three years old, wanted to take a dance class and no dance school would take her. So her mother, uh, quite courageously, decided that every child deserves the richness of an arts education and founded the River with one dance class and seven little girls. And Tuts and the River came together starting in 2008. We started collaborating on one-day workshops twice a year. We had students with disabilities from the River who would partner with Humphrey School of Musical Theater students at Tuts, and they uh, would sing, dance, and act in a one-day workshop together. So our first workshop was It's a Wonderful Life. And after two years of working together and collaborating, we decided to merge, and we merged in 2010, and the river is part of Tut's education department. And Brennan, you're one of the student performers, you call them? Yes. The student performers? Student performers. So how do you feel when you step out on stage? I feel really good. I feel, like, overjoyed and... Seeing the audience just makes me feel really happy inside. How long have you been involved with the river? Uh, I've been involved since I was uh, five or six years old, and I've carried on my theater life ever since. So I was born with a uh, spina bifida, but God gifted me with the talent that I have now. Because like some, because like when I was a baby, I thought I could like hear this voice like saying, "You're gonna make it out in the real world. You're gonna be on Broadway. You're gonna be talented one day." Tuts celebrated their 50th anniversary. Brennan um, was the first individual with a disability cast in a principal role at Theater Under the Stars. He played Chip in Beauty and the Beast, and he was cast as Chip because he was the best young person for that role. So that was just amazing um, for, for him, and as well as everyone who um, supports the work that the River and Tuts is doing. It, the arts are vital. I think for everyone, but specifically for individuals with disabilities. And at Theater Under the Stars, we believe the arts are for everyone. Everyone has a voice, everyone has value, everyone has something to give. How do you think the river has helped you personally just grow as a person or be more confident in yourself? So uh, I don't know if it was the first time I stepped on stage at the river, but uh, at the beginning, I was kind of nervous, but then once I started like singing, I felt like really good. So how does it feel for to be a role model for even young, other students and even younger ones coming up in this program. I want kids I want kids to like learn learn from me and like I want them to be on Broadway one day and join me one day and uh be be in theater with me. What is your ultimate goal? Uh, my ultimate goal is to make it on Broadway after finishing high school. Eileen, this program has grown so much. Where would you see it in the next 10 years or so? So in the last 5 years, we've um expanded our program to include adults. The River used to only work with students up to age 19, so we have adult programs. Um, more recently, we're partnering with other high-caliber arts programs like Writers in the Schools and Houston Center for Photography. In the spring, we're having a spoken word class um, with uh, WITS, and we're having a photography class. I think this is the third time we'll be hosting a photography class with the professional teaching artist from uh, Houston Center for Photography. I see more of those arts collaborations. We see more student-led, student-driven in terms of um, them being involved with the creative teams that we have at the River. And uh, also, we have a performance troupe, and Brennan's part of our performance troupe, and they perform at different community events. So in and around Houston, I think we're starting to get more known, but we would like um, to take that to the national stage. <laughs> so that's definitely hashtag goals for the next 10 years. Well, some of the student performers from the river, including Brennan, are performing in ELF, which you can see starting December 7th at the Hobby Center. For more information, you can head to our website, clicktohouston.com.